Kilo. Welcome back to Random Rice. My name is Sam, and we're playing some Paper Mario. Paper Mario, or got me King. We uh, we uh, just released some toads. The curator of the Musée Champignon, and uh, some other guy. <laughs> I forget who he was. Oh, it's this guy. This guy right here. Hey, remember me? Pull me back from another dimension so I can work 18 hours a day in the shop. Oh, I'm sorry. Poor guy. Okay, thank you enough for that. Anyway, got some good items. Weapons here. Check it out. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm always, I'm always up for some items. Some items. So if you are coming back from a previous video, thank you so much. If you are new, uh, also thank you. Uh, please stay. <laughs> uh, and hope you enjoy this content. Uh, hi! What can I get you? Please spend generously. Okay. You know what? We're gonna get some iron boots because, uh, they sound like they hurt. And, uh, I'm all about hurting dudes. <laughs> uh, that's not true. Uh, well, if I'm not speaking, I got a weapon. Yes, I did. I did indeed get a weapon. Don't tell me what to do. I know what to do. I'm a master. I'm a master at this game. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to buy. I want more. Can always use more. In fact, you know what? Give me all three of them five flowers. <laughs> yes. Yes, I will. Uh, that's good for now. Okay. I'm guessing the museum is just like checking out. We, we might visit it sometime, but I don't want to waste time right now. We'll do that later. Is, did we miss this? Where did this go? Uh, nope. I guess not. <laughs> nope, not jumping over railings either. Ah, uh, well. Follow the yellow... No, red ribbon, not yellow. Follow the red ribbon. On our way. In this great adventure. So... For those of you that are new, as uh, I hope many of you are, <laughs> trying to get those views, man. Uh, we've been talking about this book called uh, The War of the End of the World by Mario Valgaciosa. And uh, when we left off, we were talking about how this guy, the counselor, was setting up kind of like this weird like cult thing. <laughs> And uh, this other guy, Galileo Gall, uh, the Scotsman. Oh, the Toadman. Oh man, I've been hiding in those leaves for so long. I turned green. Wait, is that it? No, couldn't be. All right, I'm just gonna ask. Is that Luigi's origin story? Am I the Luigi of Toads? Huh? Luigi of Toads? We found him. I got a new brother. You know what? I'm gonna lean into it. Gonna find a green hat, grow a stash, work on my sneer. Oh, and if Luigi's were here, he starts talking like Luigi. He tell you to try your pressing brush to open up your menu. From there, you can equip all weapons, use items, check out all the kinds of info. Mamma mia! Did I do that right? Uh, close enough. So. The counselor, he is setting up uh, this cult, and Galileo Gall, the Scotsman, just went to this monastery to try to figure out what the heck is going on up there. So this monk tells him they ain't got no marriage. They're basically just saying, uh, you know, like anybody can do, you know, whatever they want as long as both parties agree. The, the way the book puts it is that. They form and dissolve marriages as long as there are two consenting parties. So roundabout way of saying they're just sleeping around. Wow, this place looks really beautiful. Nothing like bright blooming flowers and abundant sunshine. In fact, it's so nice. I think we should stop and have a picnic. No, what am I thinking? Yeah, what are you thinking? People are dying. <gasps> Sorry, Mario. It's so nice here. I almost forgot the streamers and all of our other problems. So many problems. So, yeah, so they're basically just having, I don't know if it's like full on, uh, like, 
orgy kind of stuff, but it's, you know, they're a little promiscuous. And uh, they, they even go as far as to say that uh, children do not have parents because they belong to everybody, and there's no such thing as a legitimate or illegitimate child, because every child is born, who is born is just a... Uh, Hope you weren't expecting a treasure map or scroll filled with ancient secrets! Just the dumb with Toad. How do I... This one? Hey, hey, got the drop on you, son. Ah, I was just having a peaceful picnic when I folded. Thank you for saving me, Mario. So, yeah, so, and then the other thing, they just, yeah, like I said, they just have, they, they have no parents. Uh, basically, it's going, like, full socialism. Like, they don't have any property. They say having, owning any property is a sin. And, uh, just, oh, man, what? Won't let me get the drop on him. I was gonna drop that big old hammer right on his stupid little shy guy head. Oh well. Yeah, I don't want. I'm not paying them. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. I'm not paying them. Stupid. I can do this on my own. See, figured it out. Don't need you. So the the guy Galileo Gall who's hearing all of this, he's like, "Wow, uh, you know the the monk who's telling him the story is trying to dissuade him and tell him how horrible it is." But this guy who's such a radical, he's like, "Wow, this is not it's not that bad. You know, this sounds like a pretty good idea. They're rejecting the government. They are what? don't flat me. It's like having a new superpower. <laughs> Guess he likes it." Uh, he's like really into it and he's writing this letter to a buddy that that we're reading in the book and he's just like man they got they figured all this stuff out that we couldn't even figure out man these guys are great so he's really into it and uh, that's where you le we leave him for now and we are introduced to a new character give me all the coins <laughs> yeah <laughs> money 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 Yeah. Ah, oh, I was fine. Now I'm just flapping. Oh, oh, come on. My ninja skills. They failed me. We we're introduced to a new character in the book called uh, Maria. Maria Cuadrada. Cuadrado? Something. Something like that. And she is like basically the fem female version of the counselor. She is uh, very opinionated a lot of uh, crazy antics she's dragging a cross around she is all dressed all crazy and hair is all over the place uh, mostly because she she's uh, suffered at the hands of others so she's trying to make herself as unappealing as possible and she settles upon this town that she's been looking for, dragging this giant cross. Well, I don't know how big it is. It just says she's dragging a cross uh, for three. Come on. There we go. <laughs> for three days, she's stinking dragging this cross. And she finally gets to this town. And the people there are nice. They're trying to, like, you know, let it into their homes, trying to welcome her. Uh, but she decides, you know what? Nah, I don't need that house. I don't need that food. Give me a cave. <laughs> so she just moves into this cave. And is just chilling there. And I don't know how long. I, I guess years. But she's just uh, having a good old time. Right in the cave. And... Yes, that's correct. She's having a good old time in the cave, and eventually the people end up really liking her. She becomes like this this wise hermit. And people come to her with their problems. She ends up decorating the cave, like painting it with, like, uh, of course, uh, religious uh, symbolism. Uh, but, you know, she's she's becomes like this wise person. Like It, it mentions that the, the young people go to her... Uh, 
to like ask her advice about like dating and the boys go to her to basically try to talk to the girl's parents to see if you know they could marry them and stuff like that Ooh. <laughs> you thought you could hide from me toad but you will not hide from this hammer yes <laughs> i blew him three times and no one ever noticed poor little toad all he wanted was to be noticed oh well first i gotta get this block here Yes. Give me that papery goodness. Ah, Mario! I didn't know you were one of the faithful. Have you come here seeking salvation like us? Oh no! We're just talking about cults. Salvation. Situation! Situation! Oh no, this is bad. Situation, situation. We got a situation here. Whoa, whoa, calm down. What's on this situation? Is it a good situation or a bad situation? Bad situation. Oh no. Oh. Uh, I don't want to fight these guys. I don't want to fight no more. I am passive now. Passive Mario. Oh no. Not half me, Toad. <laughs> Pass Mario. Whack. <laughs> burritos. I wish I had a burrito. Whoa, look at that cute house. It's all wrapped up in my brother's streamer. Do you think anyone's inside? Ooh, there must be in a real bind. Hey, if anyone's inside that super cute house, we're here to help. Just hold tight, we'll come out back after we unwrap the red streamer, okay? That should do it. Consider the people inside 100% assured. Reassured. What a... So Maria's just having a good old time in this town, and eventually, wouldn't you know it, the council arrives. The council comes into town, and uh, normally she's not one uh, to get along with other religious people like missionaries and stuff. Can't get over there, huh? Oh, what, what? <gasps> you sneaky, sneaky son of a gun. Oh. All right, whatever. We'll fight these doofuses. Yes. And, uh... Normally she's not one to get along with other, like I said, missionaries and priests and whatever. And neither is the counselor, because he's just too crazy for him. And she is too. But, uh, so she doesn't usually go to town when they're around. But they go to town, she goes to town for him. And, uh, helps him to build a wall. And eventually he gets along with them and it's like, you know what? I'm gonna join you. Gonna join your little posse here. And they, I imagine, uh, it didn't mention this yet in the book, but they move on to Canudos. The little weird cult town. I don't know. So, yeah, so it's interesting. They got this society of basically socialism thing going on. Thank you, Mario. Wondering how I already had this written? Me too. Toad. Toad. My name's Toad. I feel bad that the toads don't have names. Call me a hipster, but I prefer to send a real letter. Now I have to actually call my friends. Thanks, Mario. In case you didn't know, guys, that was sarcasm. <laughs> Who would write sarcasm? Sarcasm. I guess it'd help in uh, texting situations. I've had so many problems. Like, oh, Marty. Oi. You got something you wanna yak about? Ah, yeah, that's the place. There's some kind of weird toad living in there. He signs a whole bunch of weird junk. Good luck getting to see that guy. Placed his block... I don't know what accent this is. <laughs> Placed his block by some kind of red streamer thingy. And you can see for yourself. This is kind of Scottish. I don't know. He said, oi. That's why I, what I went for. <laughs> so, I don't know. Nah, I don't want to. Well, let's go see what those Koopas are up to. 
them dirty, dirty Koopa Troopas. Actually, let's try to see if we can get this to drop on these guys. Maybe save the swan. Yes. So it's really interesting that the uh, the town's got. Ooh, <laughs> I knew it. There's gotta be a way. Get you fool. Come on. Yeah. See, there's that. There's that goose I was talking about before. Stupid goose. Get out of here, goose. <laughs> Stupid. You ain't gonna get me. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Very, very nice. So. And, uh. Yeah, it's really interesting that the guy who was all yakking about how he doesn't like religion is like now really, really interested. And uh, there's a toad up there. And down here, what the flip? Gotcha, boy. Ooh, a special toad. Thanks for that. We'll give him a special voice. Oh, thanks for that, Mario. But if you're looking for a fortune, you've rescued the wrong toad. I run the funky, fun, funky and functional accessory shop in Toad Town. Come see me for accessories. Ooh, is this like the, that semi-badge system that everyone is talking about? Yes, there we go. Very nice, now I can save you, Toad, with my hammer. Wahoo, cheers, Mario. That was right proper swing of the old hammer, isn't it? Swing like that, a bloke. Oh, assume you're wearing, or I don't know how to. Assume you're wearing a... I don't know what kind of accent I'm going to give. Whatever. Wearing some kind of fancy accessories. Of course, I didn't need to... T no, you don't need to tell me. I have heard that a lot recently. What's going on, guys? <gasps> I see him. I see the shot guy. The door to the Valley of Mantle is sealed. No one can get inside to pay tribute. To. The door will only open when all five holy shells are placed in the shell zone receptacles. But four of them are gone, and the heathen is trying to steal the fifth right now. We can go and try to stop him, but, you know, we're Koopa Troopas. What are we going to do, walk into him slowly? <laughs> you recognize your place, Koopa Troopas. You ain't worth nothing. Unlike a me, a Mario. I'm going to sneak up on this toot. There you go. Gotcha. Yeah, it's interesting how the opinion of, uh... Galileo Gaul is changed so rapidly. No, it's not stressful. I can handle it, Olivia. I know what I'm doing. Get out of here. Time's coins, so quit talking to me. There we go. Uh, oh, like this. Very nice. Yeah, he changes, Galileo Gall changes his mind so rapidly just because he sees something that he wants to hear. And he doesn't mind that he's using religion, or it doesn't seem like it, he minds, that they're using religion to uh, push his ideas. So, I think, I think he's uh, just more interested in his ideas and doesn't really have, uh, you know, he claims to have this guiding thing of science, but not that much. Are you gonna watch it? I don't want to spoil anything for you. But you should really see the exhibit first. Well, there are four shell stones are missing. Ah, get the shell stones. Oh, how frustrating that they ran off with your precious stones. I really want to see the exhibit for myself. Let's head off and find those shell stones, Mario. I'm sure these guys have thoroughly searched this area. Uh, you really trust these guys, Olivia? I mean, look at them. They're all crumpled. How are you going to trust a crumpled man? Come on. Or woman. I don't know. Don't want to don't wanna assume. Anything else in here? Nope. Bop. Ha ah, ah. ha. Ooh. I was... <laughs> I thought maybe there was a stone back there. See that, guys? We're saved! Let's rally behind Mario! Wherever he gets in the fight! Just press. Stop telling me what to do! Hooray! Don't. I'll press Y when I wanna press Y. Man. 
Ugh. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Wahoo! He looks so happy when he when he throws his confetti. I mean, I guess it is confetti. I've never seen a man experience such joy. Pop. I saw something over here. Yes. I knew it. I knew it in my little heart. In my, my cute little heart, I knew it. I knew that there was there was a rat. Somewhere. Ooh, this is a real head scratcher, boys. How do I do this? Oops. <laughs> there we go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, how did he do that? He's working his magic. This guy's incredible. I, I know, I know. You come back and uh, you see a, a real gamer at work here, boys. Uh, you, you see, and girls, you see something incredible. I would never crumple if I had equipped a weapon. Are you equipping your weapons, Mario? You gotta stay ready. If another toad tells me to equip a weapon, I, I swear. Burr, burr, burr. Uh, you know what? We're gonna make this episode just a touch longer. Because I want to see what's happening. I want to get at least the first stone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not quite feeling this uh, this battle system. I don't know. It feels a little brain dead. I don't know. Like I said, mentioned before, once these puzzles get significantly harder, everything's a one-hit kill. I'm not even like trying to uh, stomp on them right. A lot of the time, I forget, and I still kill them. Like, what's that all about? I want a challenge. Why isn't Paper Mario like Dark Souls? <laughs> I actually just finished playing Celeste, and I'll tell you what, that is a good game. I just love the story. I still need to complete more of it, like all the strawberries and b-sides and all that business. But man, that is such a fun game. I love the story, and ah, it's just so cute. It makes, you know, it feels you good games good stories good you know how much i love stories guys if you uh watched any of these videos i love stories and good stories they just you know they give you it's more than just information or a story in itself it fills you with emotion you know that human side of you it touches you it touches you right in the heart and in the mind and the soul so it just, and that is one of those games. I'll tell you what, it, just seeing uh, Madeline's experience with herself and the other people around her, and you know, trying to climb this mountain as she also tries to control her emotions. Yes. Ooh, he's an angry to her. It's almost as good as flying. Almost. Oh, is he mad at us for saving? Sorry. Not so- Oh, oh the wrong button. Sorry. Not sorry! <laughs> Suffer the pain. Pop! Thanks, Mario! This my sandwich, and then I started thinking about my sandwich and hit a bad shot into Sand's Edge. Sandwich, sandwich. Oh, no. Don't even try it. Aw, cute! He's so cute! Ah, uh, wahoo! Perfect, perfect. You think any of y'all can do that? No, only us real gamers can do that. <laughs> this is Toad, calling it. Ah, yes. Saw that spot and I was like, that's a Toad. <laughs> really works the core. Oh, uh, nope. Nope, you're not getting me with them snicky snicky goombas. You snicky snicky goomba. I'm a ninja. Oh. A ninja with no confetti. 
Oh, I didn't even see that guy. <laughs> Surprise, fungus finder! I don't know if I want to be known as the fungus finder. It's like that show, uh, Dr. Pimple Popper. I'm sorry if any of y'all like that show. It's, man, that's, that's... That sounds weird as heck. I, I, I cannot get behind <laughs> I don't I haven't actually seen the show so I don't maybe I'm judging prematurely but uh, watching a show about pimple popping it, it doesn't sound like my my kind of deal you know it, uh, it kind of grosses me out to be honest you know, I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, maybe that's not a popular opinion I, I, I don't want to offend nobody oh get them toads out of here yes really works you out I, I, that, might, that might not be a popular opinion you know you know, I, I, I don't want to offend anybody, but I myself cannot say that I enjoy watching pimples being popped. It uh, doesn't fill me with, uh, I mean, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of like that ASMR stuff. I, I don't get ASMR. I don't understand it. I mean, I guess I get a little bit of the tinglies, but I don't, it, it, more of like annoying tinglies. No cockroaches. I don't like the cockroaches. Free! Yeah, I don't know. So, uh, well, how did I get on this tangent? Oh, Fungus Finder. Yeah, don't want to be Dr. Fungus Finder. Yes, this guy's mad too. Put up your dukes. It's kind of really... I mean, come to the battle lab. Put up your dukes. I mean... I run the battle lab in Toad Town. You should stop by sometime. It's near the museum. Huh? You came all the way here from Toad Town and now you're headed back? Yes. Unless you know a shortcut. Maybe the pipe up ahead on Overlook Mountain? My, still feeling doggy. So I'm gonna wolf it back. Hope to see you at the battle lab. Ah, ooh! Okay. Okay. Oh, almost forgot to mention. Almost forgot. I forgot to mention. We have a membership drive on right now. Free gift for new members. Come on down. Wolf. Okay. Free gift, Mario. It's free. Free. We should definitely remember to check out that dog toad slab. Okay. Okay. No, nope, nothing back here. Ah, secrets. <laughs> Ooh, 100%. That's the kind of, that's the kind of gamer I am. A hundred and get out of here. A hundred percent. You won't see no half-baked gaming around here. I'm a hundred percent all the way. Uh, yeah. All right, I think we got everything in this area. On to the next. Get that stone. The shell stones. For their weird little... Shrine. Shell shrine. Shell shrine, shell stones. Say that five times fast. You know what? I think I will. Huh, look at the red streamer. It goes all the way up there. Is climbing up there going to be a problem? You know, for your legs? Who am I kidding? You're Mario. You can do it. I'll just observe and reflect my cozy spot inside your pocket. Is that where she is? Do I have a pocket? This is a toad. Do da dee doo. Uh, flight 92 has been moved to Concord C. Gate G6. If you stick to the path, you should make it to the top, Mario. Don't ask me how long I've been waiting here to tell you that. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Did you guys hear that too? It wasn't like my computer or anything, was it? Uh, no. Thank you. I'll take my treasure and leave. Where are these shell stones? Uh, no. I thought I could sneak by. On paper, I should be able to wedge right through. There should be no spot too small. Except maybe the, uh, the Incan ruins. Have any of you been there? I went there a couple years ago, you know, Cusco and Machu Picchu. Being a Peruvian, it, it uh, always felt weird to me that I have never seen the Peru's most famous site. 
So I went there and it is absolutely crazy how big these rocks are. Ooh, no, wrong one. I, I mean, I've never been like the pyramids or anything, so I don't know comparatively. Maybe like Stonehenge is crazier. But some of these are just enormous and they're like stacked up and they're like perfectly cut. Just like perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. And it's just so surprising to me how, uh, how well they cut it. Or maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe it's like over the years over the years it got like weathered that way so it's cut better but I think I read somewhere that even when the Spanish arrived which wasn't I think like a hundred or so years after uh, 150 years after they built the the temples and all the all the stone architecture they, that they still found it amazing how well designed uh, these monuments were. It's just crazy. I really had a good time there. And if y'all don't know, you guys can get coca leaves down there. Illegally. Uh, is that is that bad that I'm promoting? <laughs> it's not like cocaine. Okay, so cocaine is like an extract. Uh, which is why uh, Flight 67 has moved to gate A8. <laughs> that is Alpha 8. <laughs> I hope you guys are hearing that too. I think it's that little blue banner. Ooh, Mo, I get out of here. Not getting me. Got you first, son. Yeah, so if you don't, if you guys don't know, you can get coca leaves, which is how they make cocaine, from what I hear. Uh, but they don't, they, at least, uh, as far as I know, there's not a lot of cocaine in Peru. Maybe I just, I'm sheltered, I don't know. But I, th I think if there is, I think they export most of it, which is also not the best. But uh, I, I had some, they make tea, and they actually make candies. So like little kids like sucking on coca candies. I mean, they put it in Coca-Cola, so. I, w I wonder if the, since it's not illegal, if they actually put it, still put it in Coca-Cola down there. Maybe that's why the Coca-Cola tastes so good. <laughs> what the flip? There we go. Oh, why didn't the first one take? Bebernass. So, yeah, I had a bunch, actually. Because I didn't know they... Listen, do you hear that? It's the river going splash, splash. Splash, 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 splash. Ah, what a relaxing sound. Well, you've ruined it, Olivia. Stop talking. Oh, listen closer. You can even hear the fishies jumping. Oh, there's a little sad uh, Koopa Troopa over there. Ooh, and there's treasure down there. I think we're going to have to go. Oh, can I jump up here? I'll have to jump on the roof and then go over. I see. Sneaky. Oh. oh. Use your ninja skills. <laughs> Ever nice. So when I went there, uh, and I went to, uh, so I've lived in Peru for eight years, the first eight years of my life, and then we went to uh, the U.S. and Tennessee. But so I, I was actually born in Peru, and I was born in a mine, guys, a diamond mine, because I'm a diamond, a diamond in the rough. No, it was actually a copper mine, and I wasn't born like in the mine it was like the field hospital or something my mom was working and uh, ooh, uh no thank you what's going on here a step right up step right up a calling all saving seekers coupon clippers and thrifty types alike you sir with the mustache fancy a fair deal sure i i, I love a good deal man uh, let's get right down to it what I'm offering today is a once-in-a-lifetime deal. A real bargain in the rough. <gasps> ah, shellstone. Feast your greedy eyes on the Miracle Orb. It dices, it slices, it purees. It's a one-of-a-kind. <gasps> oh, that's a shellstone! I need it! Just calm down, folks. And then get excited all over again, because if you don't buy it now, you'll never get another chance. 
Let's start the betting at 10,000 coins. Just a 10,000 coins for this unique, absolutely necessary item. Uh, no? Uh, no thank you? Uh, no takers, huh? I see. I see. But we can't let this serendipitous situation go to waste. I've got an item, and you've got coins. So let's see if we can't m make the magic happen, eh? Now then, this hurts me deeply, but I'm going to offer you the discount of a lifetime. For an extremely limited time, you can purchase this fine item for the low, low price of 5,000 coins. We got a deal, right? Uh, that's still kind of a lot. Uh, I agree with you. I'm not taking it. Uh, get out of here. I see. I see. Now, this is a slippery situation we've got developing here. I'm looking to sell, you're looking to buy. Surely we can meet in the middle, just like your mustache. Ha ha ha, you got the me there, Monty Mo. I'm just gonna put this out there. Uh, 3,000 coins. That's it. That's the offer. Take it or leave it. No. You've been trying to scam me? Now, I want the best deal. I want the best deal that you can give me, Monty. Don't give me none of this crap. Oh boy, I didn't want to do it, but you're forcing my hand. At this price, it's as good as highway robbery. All we need is the highway. And 2,000 coins. How about it? No way, wow, that's cheap. Not cheap enough. Don't buy. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Oh wait, that's him. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I like that reaction. You still want to buy it? I'm losing it. I want the shirt. You want the shirt off my back too? Take this thing away from me. For 1,000 coins. Well, yeah. Mm, no. Well, I'm pushing my luck, I think. Oh, shoot. I don't even want to sell it now. <laughs> I like to imagine that he just drops the whole voice. <laughs> I don't even want to sell it now. This price, maybe I'll keep it. Ah, but you got me on the day that my rent is due. My loss is your gain. 500 coins. Take it or leave it. Ooh. They're planning on buying it. You know what? Mama didn't raise no quitter. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna... Not take it. <laughs> oh boy. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. The bank's gonna send me a letter. Yes, drop the price. Drop the price. I just gotta get 300 coins out of this thing at a, min at a minimum. Please, I'm begging ya. Oh, wait. Uh-oh, wait, no, they each have 300 coins. You c Look at the dialogue, dudes. Guys, are you thinking? I've got 100. Now, okay, this has gotta be... But I, could, I wonder if he just gives it to you at the end. <sighs> Can't run the risk. They're gonna buy it. They're gonna buy it. It's... <sighs> oh. Bye. Deal. Oh, no deal. Woo. Yes. Sold for 300 coins. Take it and get out of my sight, you rascal. Green shellstone. Mario, you just found the first of the Earth Elemental shellstones. Yes, we did. <laughs> still, can't, still can't believe I got 300 coins for a rock I found on the side of the road. Oh, you stinking cheap See, Should hit you. I am gonna hit you in fact. All right, well, now that I have quenched my fury on this Monty Mo, I think that's a good time, place to uh, end this video. We're already at 40 minutes, double what I would have lacked. You know what? No. Anytime, as much time as I need to make these videos, have a good time. You know what? I'm having a good time. Hope y'all are having a good time. And if you are having a good time, uh, consider, uh, I, I, I don't know, maybe consider uh, pushing that like button down there. Smashing, smashing that like button is, uh, <laughs> those young kids like to say. 
And uh, then if you liked it some more, uh, oh, I don't know, subscribe, maybe? I don't know. And if you really, really, really liked it, share it with your friends. I uh, I can use all the help, as uh, right now, I, I, I don't have uh, too many friends. Be my friend, please. <laughs> well, uh, next time, we will uh, definitely be throwing some more confetti. We will be playing some more Paper Mario, and uh, I'll keep reading the book and uh, keep you updated. And uh, tell some more stories. Until next time, peace.